Time for a new journeyman save. We're heading to the Hull Seahawks. Paywise. Oof. Yeah, that's not brilliant. £2,100 a year. I'm going to have to get another job to go alongside this one. Uh, we are going to have to go and work at Clear Answer Call Centre Limited. Uh, they deal with BT and EE campaigns. I found this place. So, Story Street, which is just down the road from both Essex House, where we work. And there's the arena. And this is where we're going to live. So Quentin Tucker thinks this season is successful so far and that the team has played very well. And I don't know what I don't know what happened. So we play the bees. Now that feels like a game that we should be able to win. Yeah, we are really not making this easy on ourselves, are we? In theory, if we win this game, I think technically we finish second. Oh blimey. The game will be decided in a shootout. Uh, okay, game's talking to me now. As long as they miss, they just gotta miss. The B's IHC shooter is Stuart Mock. Come on, Mog, miss it. Do me a favour, miss this it. First shootout in his career. Miss it. Miss it. Shot by Mock. Yes. Saved by two lions. Okay, this is it. Final period of the final, and I'm being very final about my finals. Minute to go. It's been all us in the third. Four on four. Five minutes. Ah, oh, Bissonette's gonna get that in. Look at him. I could see it happening. With the 3-2 victory in the final game, the Sheffield Steel Dogs bested the Hull Seahawks to win the title. This was recorded back in 2023. Oh, what a time it was. Now it's Solway. I had a bit of a look. The Sharks have never lost in regulation. All right, round one is done. So yeah, as you can see, Solway beat the Bees. We be the Knights. So, is it time to start dreaming big? That's it, it's over. Uh, we, we won. NIHL National Champions. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, the Seahawks have decided not to let me go and I've renewed my contract. I had no say, I didn't even get to negotiate. Still on 2,100 pound and they've given me another two year contract just won them the championship. I might have to start looking around for another job. We've had a job offer somewhere around 10 grand. That's close. I reckon with a little bit of negotiation, we get 10 grand. So I think, I think I'm calling time here at Hull. So we have returned with seven games left of the regular season. Currently at the moment, we're sitting at 15th, so I think Somebody's giving him pink eye. Sovereign is unfortunately one of our better players on the team in a position that we are massively struggling in. And that is just great. It looks like uh, Sovereign has now given it to his defensive partner, Calendar. Smith has gone out with back soreness. Now he's 18, he's got a sore back. Enough that he needs to have some time off. Not just some time off, a couple of weeks off for a sore back. Okay, well that's not good. We've now gone and lost our right wing, Alman. I'm gonna be so disappointed if we end up losing this. Uh, did the goalie just decide to go and change as they were on the attack? They ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. We've had an owner confidence update and the fans view me as a problem. I don't know what I need to do to win them over. I wonder if I should start looking for, for a new job. So I was only just talking about getting a new job and um, yeah, Saganor have decided to put a contract forward for me. Before I just go and turn that down though, what would you offer me money-wise? I mean, that's what I'm on now, so you'd have to do better than that. Because, oh my God, um, I really want to fire that goalkeeper. So I've done some thinking. My contract is due up in a few months time. Don't think I'm gonna renew it. I'm gonna resign at that point. Oh, it broke my heart. 34 games played, 15 wins, 14 losses, and three overtime wins. We are looking at 33 points. We are kind of on the bubble of falling below that playoff line. The owners have got my back. Fans absolutely hate me. But, oh, it's just, it's the goalies. They didn't even go for it. We're on a five game winning streak. Nothing's changed. What a game.
undefeated internationally. With six games to go, we have 12 points up for grabs. We could be somewhere between third place and 14th. We are the in-form team. Um, still in eighth, annoyingly. So I think I'm gonna put that loss down to me. I, uh, I raised the point of having a big win streak, didn't I? So with three games to go, six points up for grabs. We have got, and it's gonna take a massive amount of effort, the potential to get to fourth. So here we are. The double header, last two days of the season. Game number one. Prince Albert Raiders. After that, we've got the Wheat Kings who are in the position directly above us, one point higher than us. If we lose both games, we could potentially fall as low as 10th. So that does take us to seventh overall in the league. And as a final season at Regina, I'm kind of happy with where we've left off there. 